Zero Bay Overheat. You may have heard that sound before, but you might not know this. On an average taxi, your airliner's tires can heat up 59 degrees Fahrenheit per mile. All that heat comes from the friction between your tires and the pavement. And during your takeoff roll, your tires can heat up another 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So on a two mile taxi and takeoff, you could easily pick up 210 degrees of temperature. That means on a 90 degree summer day, as you pull those gear back into the wheel wells, your tires could reach 300 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to barbecue with. That means if there's any debris up there, you could start a fire. But how would you know? Well, you're not gonna smell it right away. That's where your fire loops come in. It's an airliner's version of a fire detection system. There's a couple different varieties. On a CRJ, it uses a metal tube filled with an insulator. The insulator is actually a thermistor, which means that its insulating properties change as its temperature changes. When it's cold, it doesn't allow electricity to flow. And as it gets hot, electricity can start to move. Embedded in that insulator are two different wires, one of which is grounded to the outside of the metal tube. The other one is connected to a power source. You can call it a hot lead. Normally, the thermistor doesn't allow the electricity to move from the hot lead to the ground wire. But in your gear bay, if you had an overheat condition, that would heat up the thermistor and electricity would start to flow from the hot lead to the ground wire. The fire detection can sense this current movement and then it would indicate that gear bay overheat. The neat thing about this system is it's generally so sensitive, it can tell the difference between an overheat and a fire. An overheat would allow a small amount of current flow and a fire would allow a larger amount of current flow because it's hotter. The other neat thing is that fires take time to build, so the system would watch for a gradual current change. If it saw a sudden jump in current, it knows it's a short and could indicate a fault in the system. Now the same system that's used in your gear bay is also used on your APU and on your engines, but instead of a single loop, it uses two. They cross check against each other. Essentially, if one system catches a false positive, falsely detects a fire, the other one cancels it out. You wouldn't want to pull your fire bottles on an operating engine because of a false positive. If you want to learn more about systems like this, click subscribe. And if you're ready to start an airline career, check out ExpressJet. You could be in the airlines before you know it.